What's going on, YouTube family? I'm here today with Mr. Tom of Video Game Trader. Say hi for everybody, Tom. Hey, how you doing, guys? So Tom came to me with an interesting idea. We have some Zoopack graded card mystery power packs. Tom, tell us a little bit about where you got this idea from. Um, I watched uh, PokeRev open some of these, and he got good cards, and I'm determined to not get good cards. So I figured I'd buy these and see how much of a dumpster fire it is. Um, because it can't be good. Okay, so the basically- The ratings are horrible. This is like one of the worst rated Pokemon products on Amazon. So basically you're saying that they knew Rev was ordering them so they gave it good stuff? I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking. All right, well, let's get down to the table here and yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm gonna let Tom go first. We're gonna take turns opening these up. But yeah, as you guys can see, we got Zoopack Graded Mystery Power Pack. This one's a Charizard edition. This one was a hundred bucks, um, one authentic, professionally graded Charizard card and two sealed booster packs. Um, this is like a product of FGW Holdings Group. I have no clue who that is, but they're in uh, Palos Heights, Illinois. Let's see if they're high on uh, their price. Uh, but we got five of them here. We got $100, $50, $50, $30, and $10. So we're gonna go and order least to highest and work with that. So Tom, I'll let you do the honors. You open the first one and let's see what we got. All right, so this one, uh, the V card edition, and it says that it's one authentic graded card and one booster pack in every pouch, but this one I believe was advertised as only the card. So let's see, and I wanna make sure we pull the card out the right way so we can sign it. Okay, All so right. it's upside down and it's in a... It's upside down. It is in a team bag, so it looks like they're kind this of sandwiched not, in there. This isn't a graded card. This oh, this might have been just six V cards and no no graded card in this one. It was like this was ten bucks. So let's see what we got. But real quick before you open these, so guys, do realize that see the sticker says six V card edition, um, but it does it does they use they use the same pack for everyone, so I can see already how their reviews kind of got a little shunned. All right, so let's see if this is worth 10 bucks. We got a top loader here, protecting everything, I guess. So we got Tornadus, Tornadus V from, what's that, Chilling, is that? Is that uh, that's, uh, Darkness of Blaze? No, maybe. is that? It's one of the more recent sets. It might be Chilling Rain. It might be Chilling Rain, I think, yeah. And then we got Indeedee V from uh, Hidden Fates? Champions Path? Cha Champions no, Path. Yeah. You can tell we know our stuff, huh? It's, we really, really, we're, so we're many, real experts There's been here. so many V cards and Greed stuff. Greedent V, <laughs> Cramorant V, Leopard V, and Zaki and V. So we got six V cards for 10 bucks. I don't know if it's worth it, but. I don't think any of those are worth a dollar. These are probably, dollar. yeah. I think the only one that might be worth anything in that pile i'll have to double check and obviously guys we're filming this semi live so i think the zacian is the only one but now i i want to take this from you real quick and just show you guys this is one thing that i do wish and i could see where that people were coming from you can see that this card is clearly off-centered really bad and i'm not gonna lie the card feels really flimsy too so um this was from Chilling Rain. So this could have been from that that first printing. They did have a printing that the cardstock felt a little different. So this could be from that print run. And that could be the reason for why this particular card feels so slim, flimsy. But okay, not too bad, Tom. So I would say this one was an L. So let's see if the next one is a win or an L. So we're gonna go to the PSA Edition S2 now. One of these is a fifty dollar. One of these is a fifty dollar one, and one of these is a thirty dollar one. I don't know which one of the two was. I think this one's the thirty. dollars All right, so this one's a thirty dollar one. So we'll go. So. We're gonna go here. All right. So this one is PSA edition two. Whoop! Whoop! Wee! You guys got a quick show over there. All right. So you get booster pack, PSA card. Like there's some free cards there. and it's some other cards value, so though. we got <laughs> not really value <laughs> Lilligant, Oshawott, Lycanroc Hollow, Magnazone, Sneasler. Ooh, that's pretty cool. First edition Execute. Fossil. From Jungle. No, Jungle. Yeah. Uh, centering's not that great but condition is good. Looks packed fresh actually. So that's not too shabby for that. This is just fluff. We might as well use this as toilet paper. Uh, we got a booster pack. Fusion Strike. 
Let's get into this Fusion Strike pack, see if we can anything get out of it. Hey, look at that. We got ourselves a black code to start it off. We got Fire Energy. Ooh, it's so hard to hold these standing up. Mandibuzz, Ninetales, more Pico, Phalanx, Smurgle. I'm already teasing you guys. There's nothing in the back here. Minin and a Dragapult. So nothing out of the pack. But now let's see what the PSA card is. So this is going to be pretty big. Chua! A PSA 9 Raichu GX promo from Hidden Fates. Who cares? It's a PSA it's 9. A nine. Yeah, but it, I mean, better if it was a 10. but what's funny is I think it costs more to actually grade this card than worth. what the card is worth. So um, if you guys down in the comments want to tell me what a PSA 9 of this card is worth, let me know. But I think it's pretty close um, between these two cards. Value wise is probably right at $30. So that's actually not too bad. So Tom, you're up. We're going to do the Power Pack Series 2. Camera All right, me. let's see. Let's open this one again. This one is one authentic graded card and one booster pack. So I'm guessing it's going to be one of these weird graded companies. Maybe it'll be PSA, but I don't know. Let me see. Oh, look, it's a PSA card. Let's put this down for a minute. And they sent us some cheapy cards again. Hey, another first oh. edition jungle card. Eh, not bad. All right, we'll take that. Those would be pretty cool for giveaways. And we got, uh, oh, another card. Uh, a really, really super cheapy uh, Celebrations card. We got, ooh, Crimson Invasion is pretty neat. And Fusion Strike. It'd be so cool if we opened the Gyarados from this set. <laughs> that would be cool, yeah. So we'll, we'll, I guess we'll open these first, right? Yep. So let's see what we got here. Guys, also don't forget, make sure you guys leave a comment below so you guys get entered into the weekly giveaway and make sure you check the live tabs for the giveaways that we do here on the channel. We give away a $10 gift card every week um, for the videos prior. So make sure you guys go back and look at all the videos that have Video Game Trader in the thumbnail. Make sure you leave a comment, like, and you must be subscribed to win. If you're not subscribed at the time of the win, you are not in the giveaway that first pack was a dud so my guess is that there is absolutely nothing in any of these packs because based on the history of this company i'm thinking they probably weighed all these packs <laughs> i don't <laughs> know get nothing but we'll see prove me wrong prove me wrong i like to be proven wrong i'm gonna say a non-hollow in this one Tom. non hollow are you gonna, that's why, you, did, did you cheat and like look at the code card? Oh, I definitely cheated. Uh, we cheated. Cheater. We oh cheated, my guys. Goodness. <laughs> See, weight packs. Oh, that's a, the reverse hollow from that set is kind of cool. Yeah, I like, I do like the reverse hollows from past sets more so than now because I feel like they just had more texture to them. Like there was more stuff. Let's see what this PSA card right. is. Now for, I'm pretty sure that the other one was the 31, but it could have been. This is the $50 This could have been. It, this been one good. should be. If the other yeah. one was 50, we got robbed. <laughs> so let's see. Ready? Ooh, Charizard V and a nine. That's not bad. Black Star promo. So I don't know what that. So card this is, is the one from Champions Path. This is the one you get from the Elite Trainer boxes in uh, All right, Champions cool. Path. Cool. We'll so that's it. not too bad of an, as a nine. Now I will say, population. This is probably one of the most graded Charizard cards, just because everybody was just hunting that black label. So um, it's not going to be worth much more than the raw uh, of the card, probably. It's going to be worth more than that Raichu is, but. We'll see. I think overall... You mean this Raichu is worthless? Come on. It's Raichu, man. Put those back in and the it's center. not even a promo. Put them back in the center. Just leave them there. All right. Let's see what we get out of this Pikachu edition one now. Kind of rotating back and forth here. Ooh, this one's... They got fancy I'm on... I'm guessing it's going to be a Pikachu. So, all right. So, now, I'm really curious about this. So, this looks like it was opened and resealed. I don't know if you noticed this. I'm just now noticing this. It's got a security label on it. Like, this... Well, it's kind of open, and even the Charizard one doesn't have that. So none of the other ones had this security seal on it. So I'm maybe hope the packaging came open and they just had to seal it so people wouldn't think it was open. Maybe, so maybe. I just hope it wasn't like yeah, this a... is this is very high quality. Yeah. You know, so this is the actually. fifty dollar. This is the fifty dollar one, and this one is supposed to have a graded card and a booster pack, and it's the Pikachu edition. So I'm assuming the graded card is going to be a Pikachu card of some sort. Another PSA card. It's nice. Oh wait, there's something in there. Hey, it's probably a Pikachu coin. Go figure. <laughs> Celebrations. I got to figure out something to do with all the Coins. thousands that they opened. All right, let's go through the cards first. We'll go through the loose cards. Oh, we got we got a random code card for you guys if you want it. Sword and Shield. Evolving Skies. All right. We got Surfing Pikachu. 
Bubble Pikachu. Ooh, base set Pikachu. Yellow Cheeks, very cool. That's actually really cool. Surfing Pikachu VMAX. And Team Bag. I'm assuming this is gonna be a bunch of... Oh! First edition Neon Gen Neo Genesis Oddish. That's a, ran that's a random good card to insert there. Cafe Master, it's just a bunch of random goodies. I don't think there's gonna be anything seriously worth money in here. Star Yu Rioli. Uh, this Oddish though is pretty cool. Um, centering on it looks pretty bad. <laughs> uh, it's also really worn. So I, I can see why they gave comments. that away. I will post in the comments the value of this to see if we get value out of it. All right, Battle Styles. Dude, come on, Sleeping Tyranitar. Well, battle Styles was a pretty good set to play, though. I think they had, for deck making, it was oh, pretty boo. good. Oh, boo. See, told you, they wait all the packs. Boo. We got a Prime Ape and a Victory Bell. Okay. All right, guys and girls, here we go. Let's see what we got here. And we got a Jungle Pikachu 8. Ugh, I really don't think this is worth the $50. Um, this particular card in an 8, I don't think is going to come in at anything. Uh, there was probably so many of them graded uh whenever there was that big boom of stuff like during covid so i don't really see this being worth that much again you guys can tell me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure uh this was probably less than 50 dollars um out of this one and this was the pikachu edition one so we're gonna see if the mac daddy charizard one can get us there tom you want it or you want me to get it i'm gonna do that one all right here we Let's go see. tom bringing in so the charizard edition this one was a hundred dollars guys 99 this is a hundred dollars so one authentic professionally graded Charizard card. You want to bet it's a Black Star promo? I don't think they would do that. If it is, if it's a promo, I'm going with the promo from Hidden Fates if they do it in like a 10. The Hidden Fates promo in a 10 maybe. I doubt we'll get a 10, but we'll see. It'd be pretty dope if we did. Oh, it's another PSA card, which is good. I'm actually impressed that they're all PSA cards. I think they I think they honestly probably just do all PSA because they probably have some kind of vendor deal with them. Ooh, Ooh I've Forbidden never Light. opened a pack of Forbidden Light before. That is really cool. Forbidden Light's a nice pack to open. Fusion Strike is tons of packs here, tons of stuff. Let's see, don't cheat. I'm not cheating. Don't Tom's cheat. already yelling at me. I'm gonna get fired. Don't cheat. In order to fire you, I have to hire you first. I like how you said fired when you were on Senna Scorch. Fire! <laughs> I wish I could say it like Vince McMahon. You're fired! Toxicity? And Toxicity Hall. Hey, if I'd have cheated, I would have gotten a good code. I'd have teased you guys even more. Okay, been a big so there now. is some good codes in here, so maybe they're not completely <laughs> ripping us off for the packs. I don't think I don't think it's worth it for anybody to weigh packs. Yeah. Disclaimer. This is weird how the cards like slid, up, slid around. Is there a code card in this one too? Yep. Oh, it was boo, the wrong way. It was a bad one. I'm not even gonna go. I'm not even gonna do the trick because it's a bad one. Boo, but but I want. I just what? want you guys to pay attention to some. Go go to the reverse hollow. So back That's cool. in the sword and shield before sword and shield era, like look at how much nicer these reverse hollows were, guys. Like, can we get back to that, please? I want them to do the Japanese reverse hollows. Those are so sick. Like the mir the mirror ones? Yeah, they're so they sick. They look like mirror bubbles? Yeah, they're really good. All right, let's see. From let's PSA. see if this is worth $100. So let me see. I'm going to... Nah, just look. I was right! <laughs> so Charizard, it's the alternate, Hidden so Fates. It's, this is the alternate art of the promo from Hidden Fates. What is the... What grade? What do you think looking at it? What grade? If, if it's this one, it's going to be a 9. They're not going to give you a 10 of this. I don't think. But if it is, that's all, that's pretty cool. Nine. It's a 9. All right. So I, I guess it was going to be the Hidden Fates Charizard. Oh, yeah, so for did. those of you guys that don't know, um, you guys have the Charizard that came in the tin. Hold it down just a little bit more. So you had the, the one that came in the tin. And it looked a little bit different than this. The Charizard was kind of more flying in from the side. Um, and then this one was in the back slot of the packs. You can open up this version um, from the regular booster pack or from the booster packs of Hidden Fates in that back slot. This was not part of the trainer gallery or shiny vault, as they would say. But it's pretty cool that you got a nine of this one. I mean, it's better to have this one than the actual box promo one. But I will say this, the one that came in the tins, I don't know if you've noticed, I've seen you guys open a few tins here for the store. The tins was extremely hard to grade in a 10. If you've got one of those Charizards in a 10, there's no, there might be a higher population now, but I actually think it was harder to grade just because the way you had to get them out of the tins because 
the packaging was so weird, it was so hard to not damage them getting them out of the tin. So this one wasn't bad. I actually think this in a nine, it might be, it might still be less than a hundred dollars. It would have been better if you opened some stuff, but I think the Forbidden Light Pack sealed is still worth like $10 potentially. So I don't know. You guys comment below, let me know how, what you think. So what was that a total of? We 240? Spent, with shipping, we spent about 250 bucks. So do you, I'll put in the comments later. So um, these are the three graded value, cards we got. I don't think the graded cards are gonna be 250. No, I don't think so either. But we did get some cool uh, vintage cards that might help it. Yeah, that Neon, Neo Genesis Oddish. We got almost nothing from the packs. Yeah, unfortunate. it's unfortunate, but that is a little bit but, of a gamble. Yeah, it is. It um, is. But, but again, cool. I, had, I had a feeling it was gonna be, when, it, when they said Charizard on this for, for graded card, I had a feeling it was just gonna be one of the ones that was mass wait, open. We forgot a card. Oh yeah, wait. Pikachu card. And the Pikachu graded card, so. Let us know. And we did get two Charizards, which I'm kind of impressed about, mm -hmm. even though one was a promo. Yep. So let us know down below. Both, both pretty much. <laughs> um, let us know down in the comments what you guys think. Just just these cards alone. Let us know if you think we're around that mark. We're going to look ourselves, but we just want to know. Give you guys something to comment down below. It's like Team Pikachu versus Team Charizard in this one. Goodness. Tom, thanks so much for letting us open these, man. These were a lot of fun. Make sure you guys comment down below. Hit that like button. And also make sure that you check out the links down below for Video Game Trader. And drop them a like, and also make sure to check out all their pre-orders they got coming up. What's the new set? That Silver Tempest you got Silver coming up Tempest, soon. Yeah. They're going to have pre-orders up for that as soon as they have their allocation, so make sure you guys keep an eye on that. We actually already have them up. Okay, cool. So pre-orders are up for that as well. And you can also check out their TCG link down below if you guys want to pick up any singles. And that'll definitely help support the store. It also helps support the channel here as well. And I will see you guys on the next one. Tom, any last words? Pika, pika. His favorite thing was the coin. He says, he says, screw them PSA cards. I just want the coin. All right, guys, have a good day. We'll see you on the next one.